Oh, what the hell are you? Goodies from Griggs. Good goodies. Give Griggs gold. Griggs gives gift. Okay, so he's a merchant. What do you got? And you know what? I can use this. How much money do we have? 1630. Wait, why is this free? Huh. This we already have. Flowing water cap. Alright, I'll tell you what. Buddy, I'm going to sell you... How much would you take for this? Ten? Ugh. I kind of want to know what this is about. We're good, we're good. I found um, a different wand cap that functions like a dash. And I was saying... I was wondering if that was one of the reasons why you, you didn't build in a dash to the game. Because there's many different ways of doing it. Because this also gives you a dash with regenerative abilities. And I thought, well, that would be pretty neat if that was the intention that went into it. I haven't really gone much further. I met the first merchant named Griggs, who talks very matter-of-factly. And I picked this up because I want to try this out. I wanted to just try as many different um, caps as I can. But now... Well, we know what this does. You know what? I'm going to sell you because I want to buy this. Oh, I have to sell it first, of course, and then buy this. Okay, cool. So now we're fully equipped. Slightly different because you can move in any direction using the cap, whereas dash versus the amulet, which is a straight line. Yeah, but you can use the, uh, the two of them together, which is kind of neat. If you really want to go like super fast but yeah if I want to get from like if I'm in a hurry to get across the map this is great I could just just fly around like this I love that I gotta, I gotta let myself uh, I gotta let my aspect meter get back up that's good enough I'm not very patient oh sweet One more. Damn it. It was originally created for dev purposes, originally for that exact reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wonder how often that happens. Where a developer will, will create an ability for, for them to use when they're playtesting, and they're like, you know what? Players might like this. Let's just leave it in. We'll add a regeneration uh, ability to it. You didn't even need to do that, honestly. But, yeah, I wonder how often that happens. What have we got? Focus Thirst, we've already got. Better Mousetrap. Wand Cap, no attributes, so no additional abilities. And our Studious Robe, that lowers our health capacity, but has aspect absorption. Hmm. Interesting. I want to try this, though. Because this is different. But it looks like the same. It's it's pretty much the same as this. The basic shaping cap that you start with. Better mousetrap. Oh. Hell, let's give it a shot. Um, let's put it here. I would figure pretty often. Yeah. I'm curious. So let's try it out. It sounds like it's just going to be a basic... Does a pretty good amount of damage, though. Oh, but then again, I also have that ability from... Uh, oh, yeah, while you were gone, I, I grabbed an ethereal item. The Patient Mage Hat. Which adds damage based on the fullness of the aspect meter. It's a pretty cool-looking hat, too, because without it, it's kind of boring. It looks like it's just got some gray, boring-ass hat. This actually makes him look like a real wizard. He definitely looks the part now, so I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> so yeah, this, this does a decent amount of damage, and it doesn't cost a lot of aspect, too. Wow. Huh. Want to 
know a secret combo that's super powerful? Does it involve any uh, things that I already have? Or are you spoiling it for me? If I'm going to find it out soon enough, I'll wait. But if it's something I'm not going to find without your help, lay it on me, man. A better mouse trap. Oh, silver, silver, silver. What did silver mean? Silver meant mystic. Yeah, mystic. A mystic item here. What does this do? A aspect capacity fifty, but increases our recharge rate. Ooh, ooh, this is hmm. Take the mystic? Yeah. All right. Will do. Give that a shot. Oh, that's small. But let's see. Um, well, let's try it out. Wait. Shoot. Oh, that fills up quick. Okay, I understand now. If you just do like a stick and move type of strategy where you're just laying in a couple shots, moving, laying in a couple shots and moving. That works really well. Okay, I understand now. I guess it would have to be a reason that that was a, a mystic item quality. Actually, what I was about to tell you about. By using a core with a low capacity, fast recharge with that, you're almost always at 100% aspect, which results in a constant 100% damage increase. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Especially if you're if you're focusing on moving and you're not f constantly firing your weapon. Yeah, because that was one thing I noticed. Like, Let me see if I get all the way down to zero here. Like, even, it's charging while I'm firing as well, which kind of makes that 50 aspect capacity seem like a bit misleading. Core and that hat synergize perfectly. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And especially if you have a, a, a weapon that deals a, quite a bit of damage. Unstoppable. Oh, it's Lady. What's she doing? She's... Sweep in the library and... I don't know. Let's talk to her. Great to see you, friend. I have some tasks that I could use some help with for a reward, of course. Okay, so how does this work? Vanquisher. So wait. The money in... Uh, that's how much I make for the quest? Uh, hang on a second. Piercing augment. Defeat 25 enemies. So... Wait, I have to pay for this quest. Oh, that's different. But I get an augment for it afterwards. So I guess it's worth it. Wish I'd have found this sooner. Um, open 10 soul chests. Plus 5 healing augment. Oof. Successfully parry 50 attacks. Oh god, that's going to take me forever. <laughs> Corrective action. Deal 10,000 damage to enemies. I, I actually can't even afford this. Well, let's see. Can I... Oh, she's not letting... She's not letting me sell anything. Hmm. Well, let's do this one. Let's see how all of this works. There's nowhere else in here. <laughs> That's so handy. Oop. Those phantoms are... Oh, every single time you fire at them, they move? That's annoying. Yeah, they, they always end up... They always seem to end up behind me. Interesting. Oh, you slippery... So wait a minute. Then if I fire at them... And then just rush forward, they'll be where I was. So that's interesting. Ah, okay. Good to know for those guys. Let's get money. Ooh. What's my... 
What's beyond here? Man, there's so much... Well, there is more dungeon to explore. I kind of want to do that. Yeah, I go for every single coin I can find. I am greedy in games. Sorry. <laughs> and a fulfillment. Focus thirst. Oh, I guess I have to... I guess I have to get one of these. Um... I'm gonna get this because this is... This is mystic quality, right? So then I can sell that. Keep these guys away from me. <laughs> kind of. That's neat that you can just kind of work your way into an attack in order for you to be able to parry. Oh, you. Come on, what do you got? We're shooting at the wall. Oh, damn it, he got me. <laughs> So fun watching play. Hey, you made the game. If I'm having fun, it's because of that. Oh, this kind of sucks though. This is the only way that I have to heal right now. Um I haven't used this in a while. Let's put this to number one. The healing there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Especially with this wand core and with this hat. Or not so much the hat, but with the wand core, like, you can sit here and... I'm just spamming the heal for that long. Wow. Okay, I understand what you mean now. I'm assuming that the rarity of these is going to... They're going to be harder to find in the full game, right? This usually... What I've seen sometimes is the demos will feature more... Like, a, a higher concentration of items just to show them off, right? And I get that. That's not a criticism, it's just an observation. Yeah, it needs to be balanced. Oh, that's fair, that's fair. Okay, that was easy. What do we got? Oh, I'm not changing my core. This is new. Winter bite cap. Breeze, ooh. That core will likely increase to ethereal as well. Okay. It it is it is pretty damn powerful. Oh. Oh, I don't know which one to choose. Whirlwind cap, I haven't played around with yet. Has the ability to push. That's got me curious. I'm gonna go with this. Let's try it out. Let's take that out. In the world of Encap. Let's see what this does. Oh. So, this just pushes enemies away? That's... Oh, that's awesome. Ah! Those, um, I don't know what the enemy types are called, but the ones that enhance the other enemies. Oof. Those things are dangerous. Especially when they're coupled with the phantoms. But I kind of like this whirlwind cat. This is interesting. Oh, I have to ask. Enchanted armor or gnarly for sure. Yeah, holy hell. I have to ask, though, because... This this wand cap is great, pushing enemies away. Will there be biomes that have environmental hazards in addition to the enemies as well? Because I'm just imagining, like, using this to push enemies into it. That'd be kind of fun. Oh. Who's this? 
Mis oh, this is that miser dude. You mentioned him earlier. I can combine your wand caps for a fee. Underpay me, and I may just keep them for myself. Okay. What is this? So... This game is primarily enemy-focused for now, though. Fair enough. So he can combine my wand caps. Do they, so they can be... Can I just combine any two? What happens if I combine this with this? Wand caps must be the same type. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I have two wand caps of the same type. Okay. 20%. What does this mean? What's this here for? I can click in here and I can put something. Let's see. 12, whatever. What? Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out. So I have to put two wand caps in here of the same type. We've done that. And then I name my price. And this is 100% chance. Oh, oh, he's literal here. He's being literal when he says, underpay me and I may just keep them for myself. Oh. Um, well, let's see. I want to see what happens either way. So what number do we have to go for like 50-50? Oh, 600. So what happens if I only give him 600 bucks? This is interesting. Let's risk it. So he's combined them. And gave it to me. Oh. So I got this for 600 bucks. And this does 90 DPS instead of 60. The life steal amount is the same. Well, let's try this. We can do that again, but we don't have any other ones. That's fine. Oh. Oh, I've explored the whole map. Okay. Wait a second. Um, shoot, did I finish this? I don't know, let's go find out. Oh, this is so handy. <laughs> there she is. So, how does this work? Oh, okay, so do I just... All right, I put this in here, I'm guessing. And let's see. Let's combine this with the better mousetrap one. Let's do that. So this will create better mousetrap with piercing. And it doesn't cost me anything. Well, any, it doesn't cost me anything more than the 500 gold initial investment. So now we have a better mouse trap that does piercing. So that'll go through enemies in a line, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's what that means. That's what it usually means. But let's see. I don't have any anything to test it out on. I guess I'll go through that one. This? Uh, what's... Oh, hang on a second. Just because I don't know what's on the other side on the other side of this door. So glad you're figuring the NPCs out. It stumps so many people. Um, a lot of it is just trial and error, and just throwing stuff in and seeing what the game tells you. And like the um, and miser or whatever his name was, um, the plague doctor NPC. When he when you put in two wand caps. And they don't match and immediately says, oh, you need to have them the same. If I'd have known that, if I'd have known that, I would have uh, ahead of time. <laughs> because I had so many opportunities to get uh, a second wand cap of the one that I was already using. And I would have been able to do that. And the only reason I got this one, the, um, the Focus Thirst the second time, is because I had no better options. I went for the one that I would probably resell for the highest amount. There's one room that can have the enemies re-released if you want to try out the caps. You can have the enemies re-released. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, which room is that? 
Any cap of the same type doesn't need to be exactly the same. Oh! When you say the same type... Are you, tra are you talking about as far as their abilities here? That's, that's written over here? Because I've seen some that have the same uh, regenerate or... Whatever, I think. Hmm. I'm not sure it's in one of the rooms. Look at the symbol in the corner. It's not on the map. Corner of inventory slot. Oh, oh, you mean these? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. So. Okay. All right. I understand now. So. Well, let's find out what's beyond here. But hang on a second. Just in case, I'm going to equip my healing. Because I don't know what's beyond. I feel like a boss fight's coming, but. Oh, this guy's like a big specter. Oh, shit. Oh, Jim. <laughs> Is there anywhere I can get cover from this guy? I can't parry that, can I? No. Wait a minute. No, I can't parry it, but parrying it doesn't hurt me. So that's... So, okay. So I just have to time it. Okay. I think I can do this. Oh, jeez. Oh, it looks like Mysterio. From... Oh! What the hell? How did I... I was trying to figure out his attacks first. It's a fine when I just go in straight for attacking, like just trying to do damage. I take too much damage. <sighs> How did I? That was really quick. I thought I had more health than that, and it said minus eighty-five. What? What attack did he do that hurt me that much? Hmm. Teleported onto you. What, that's insta-death? Oh, I didn't know. Hmm. Now we gotta fight this thing. And we know we can parry its attacks. I'm gonna set these up ahead of time so that... They're there when I need them. Okay. Come on, you big jerk. Yeah, I mean, I'm realizing now I say that, and I don't know what about fantasy appeals to me. It's, it's, a lot of it is just the specific type of fantasy that I like to read. Um, a lot of it, it is just very grounded. Like, the, the way that the characters behave is just very much steeped in, in reality. Like, I was never really that big a fan of that Harry Potter world because the little bit of it that I read, I just didn't like the idea that people were only one way. Like I was kept, um, and I don't know if it eventually happens, but I'm like, why is this Draco Malfoy character such an asshole? Is he ever going to turn it around? Is he ever going to be anything more than one dimensional? But uh, from what I understand, he wasn't, so that kind of sucks. We'll beat this guy. I'm hoping it's now. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's almost dead. Did I get him? Oh, I got him. Awesome. 
To my surprise, there was actually a second boss in this demo. He pretty much just has the one attack, which is the spinning blade attack, which he does for a little while and then gets tired. When the attack is coming at you, just go perpendicular to his direction. So if he's coming straight at you, go left or right and you should be able to avoid it. Having dash here or the quickness wand cap will really help you out. So what happens if the miser decides to keep your weapon? Well, you can either fight him for it, or you can just suck it up and leave. Here's what the fight actually looks like. If you defeat him, he'll return the wand caps that you were trying to fuse together and return you back to the map. He'll no longer be sitting on his throne, and as far as I can tell, you can't get him to return. And that's pretty much it. I enjoyed my time with Ascended. I appreciate any game that lets me find my style of play. And again, I wanted to thank the developer for answering my questions during stream. It's always extremely helpful. This game is planned for a Q3 release, so it shouldn't be long now before it's out. The link is in the description below if you'd like to check it out yourself. Also, if you want to see me do this live, catch me every Wednesday on Twitch where I have Indie Game Demo Night. If you have any games that you'd like me to preview, leave it in the comments below or follow me on Twitter. Until then, so long.